dosing pure unfiltered Colombian nitrate. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Aaron with Aaron's Aquatics, and today I want to talk about my experience with an ultra-low nutrient tank and what I'm doing to help color up and increase the growth of my coral. Let's do this. There is a chasm of difference between an ultra low nutrient system and an ultra no nutrient system. One has some, one does not. Cool? So, over the last year, my tank has been an ultra no nutrient system. Nitrates, zero. Phosphates, zero. I mean, most people would think, well, Aaron, why does having a zero in chemistry where it's bad? Isn't clean water best water? Well, you would be wrong. Having water as pure as a bottle of Fiji. Bottled at the source. Untouched by man, it's Earth's finest water. Is actually just as bad for your system as having dirty water. You know, in fact, I would argue that water stripped of all nutrients is worse for your reef system than a high nutrient system. The thing is, as a hobby, we still view nutrients as something to kill, to destroy. Why? Well, the usual issue is algae, right? Nutrients feed algae, algae grows, and algae is ugly. And for those of you that keep a macroalgae tank, hold up. Macroalgae, that's bay. Microalgae, oh, that's a thought. Be gone, thought! The problem in today's hobby is that it's vastly different than 5, 10, 15 years ago. Uh, improvements in nutrient export with skimmers, algae scrubbers, refugiums, chain reactors, dosing, everything. They have created options for reefers to manage their nutrients effectively. In my case, I exported nutrients like a bouse, had no solid method to bring nutrients in, and my corals suffered. Over the last year, my once colorful Acropora have gone from colorful to not so colorful. Uh, some have simply become pale or pastel, while others have been impacted more, losing most of their color and fluorescence. My big three elements, alkalinity, calcium, and magnesium, other things such as my lighting, flow, they have all been rock stable. The missing element is my lack of nutrients. What I needed was really fish poo. Lots of goddamn nutrient-rich fish poo. But nah, 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 nah. 2018 was not kind to me in the fish department. I mean, as many of you know and have followed my channel for some time, you know my success rate of bringing fish through quarantine has been really low. Uh, a big part of this has been due to buying fish from people on Facebook who ship fish with a side in marine velvet and then no responsibility selling fish. But that's for another video. That said, I'm trying another method to bring nutrients into the tank and it might just surprise you. Hey, Aaron here. Are you tired of looking at your designer SPS and seeing soggy wet noodles? Does your coral health directly impact your state of being and outlook on life? If so, have I got news for you need help, actual medical help, and rocks that are actually animals should not affect your well-being. Guys, come Dosing pure, unfiltered Colombian nitrates. No more do you have to worry about sad-looking SPS. It's so easy. Simply mix, shake, and blam, instant colors. Uh, huh. Well, that's literally what I'm doing right now. I have some leftover potassium nitrate from green leaf aquariums that I used to mix fertilizer for my planted freshwater aquariums back in the day. Right now, I'm mixing approximately 50 grams to 500 milliliters of RODI water to create a solution that increases my nitrates by roughly one ppm for every 20 milliliters dosed. Now, if you wanna get this information for your specific tank, I've left a link in the description below. It has a very handy calculator where you input your total system volume, how much parts per million you want to increase your nitrates, and so on. I began increasing my overall nitrates and phosphates with this method very slowly over the course of two weeks. Since then, I have held a stable four parts per million nitrates, 0.04 parts per million phosphates, and the results have been obvious only after two weeks of dosing. My current plan is to do a side-by-side -side look in the next one, two months or so when improvements are more apparent on the camera. In the meantime, I'm watching my coral daily for any signs of issues, constantly testing my parameters and seeing if I need to continue dosing nitrate. My hope is that as fish get through my quarantine process, my need to dose nitrates will slow down and eventually no longer be needed. That that being said, it's very easy to dose nitrates with this method, and coupled with a dosing pump, it's, it's no-brainer. 
All right, guys, that's about it. I just wanted to share with you my experience with an ultra no nutrient system. Uh, what I'm trying to do to correct my, by the way, the ultra no nutrient system, that's not actually a thing. Don't use that terminology. If you want to use it here, go for it. But though, if you use it on reef to reef, people are like, what the hell are you talking about? You're stupid. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm just trying to share with you guys what I'm trying to do to correct my mistakes. And, and it's hopefully something that you can learn from at the same time. So you don't repeat it. Uh, if you have any questions about what I'm doing or something I didn't cover, please put them in the comment section below. I'll try to answer everything that I can, like usual. Um, I also included a link to that uh, that helpful calculator website that contains everything that you need to know on how to determine dosing for your specific system. So check it out right there. Uh, but that's it, guys. My name is Aaron. This is Aaron's Aquatics. I'll see you next time.